Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's discussion is going to be about these cap dumps. Um, not everybody understands what they exactly do. Uh, this is a 12 volt one, so it's got 25 volt and um, 10,000 microfarad with four of them. And then this is for our customer. Um, this is a 24 volt one. So this one has 35 volt capacitors at 10,000 microfarads. And um, what we have here hooked up is 24 volts because this is a 24 volt cap dump and this one is going to be dumping its power into these other two batteries that are in series and then you'll be able to see the amperage here so what I want to talk about is what these cap dumps actually do so I'm going to start this motor up and um, give you kind of an idea so this motor has two outputs um, we're actually running on the coil on the bottom right now so um, it's not quite as efficient as the primary circuit, but it's still dumping. But what we want to talk about is right here. So what these cap dumps do is you see this spike right here? So the square is on, and then when it turns off, you get this big spike. Real thin. Um, each square is 50 volts. So right now, the MOSFET is kind of cutting it off at 100 volts. So what the cap dumps do is we put these high voltage spikes um, that are coming out of this motor go into here and the capacitors actually condense those high voltage spikes and then this one for example is set up at 30 volts so once it gets to 30 volts this discharges into here so right now you could see them on the screen but what I'm going to do is switch it over to the primary and um, you'll see the difference when you actually extract them all so let me switch this around here. So what I'm going to do is change the output um, to the primary circuit, set up like a Bedini circuit. And we're going to start it up. So now this is on the primary circuit output coming off this diode. So when we start this motor up, see now the spikes are all gone. See, there's no more spikes coming down so what's happening is we've extracted those high voltage spikes or radiant spike or whatever you want to call them um, the capacitor is condensing them into real power and then it's outputting it at 30 volts at right around 3 amps but you know it's a pulse so it could be a lot more than that but we'll just say 3 amps so the motor is still making power all right. But now we've collected this energy that's usually wasted in a regular electronic circuit. We've put it into this cap dump system and then we discharge it into a second battery. And now instead of a 100 volt output, it's condensed it down to 30 volts at 3 amps. Because on the scope, as you when you see it, it's straight down. It's very little amperage, it's mostly just voltage. So in order to get real power to charge batteries or run loads, um, you need a capacitor discharge or some type of capacitor circuit to convert that static energy or that radiant spike, you know, back EMF, whatever you want to call it, into real power to charge batteries or run loads. So. So yeah. And um these are also available at my store, but um, just wanted to do a little talk about what these can do, these simple little items here. So we take that radiant spike, that static spike, and then convert it into real power to charge batteries or run loads. Anyway, thank you for watching.